friends. I thought I'd take a little while and show you how I made my plastic bottle, pinwheel, or propeller, whirly gig, spinner, or wind spinner, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use two Diet Right drink bottles. Uh, I'm pretty sure Coke and Sprite and other type of bottles will work too. Now on this bottle here, I'm just going to cut the bottom out of it. If you look real close, you can see a line right there in the design. And yesterday I just took and set it on a book or something and rotated the bottle to get me an even line all the way around. But I'm thinking this line right here that you can see in the diagram is perfect. So I'm going to cut cut it right along there. Now I'm not marking it very straight but I'm going to try to cut it straight. I'm going to do my cutting. You could use a sharp knife or some scissors or whatever. I'm going to use this exacto knife. It's not cut exactly perfect, but I think it'll do just fine. If you plan on attaching your pinwheel with just a nail, now would be a good time to drill a hole. You see a plastic dent right in the middle, that's your center. Uh, the one I put up yesterday on the front porch, I used a nail. So I just got an appropriate size drill bit, just a little bit bigger than a nail, and drill a hole right through there. We do the same thing on this bottle and drill a hole right through there. What we're going to do is cut the top off this bottle right here, split it, and I'll show you how I did it. Put this, put this down inside there that way. Gives me a double thick bottom, uh, kind of like a hub. All right. Doesn't have to be, well, I guess we should take the plastic off. I suppose you could use alcohol or something to get that out there if, you, if it bothers you. I don't think it's going to bother me at all. There's not really a line you can see to cut to keep it on uh, work, on a fairly straight line. Find something to rest it on. That ain't tall enough. That's too tall. You can use books or whatever. And it just kind of gives me a guide of where to cut.
my exacto knife is getting dull i've used it quite a bit i really already changed that blade but we're going to try to get by without it it just doesn't have to be perfect it can be a little jagged it doesn't matter if you're cutting it with scissors the time you open up the different blades of the propeller it's not going to be the least bit noticeable Okay. I'm going to take my magic marker and I'm going to cut down. See where the shape of the bottle changes right there? That's going to be the bottom of the blades. You could put a piece of tape or something on here to get you a perfectly straight line. In fact, I don't think I'll even, yeah, I better mark it. They don't have to be perfect. Now I'm looking through to the other side. Put one 180 degrees away from that line. Halfway between those two lines would be right about here. I'll draw a line right there. Halfway between those two lines would be, don't have to be exact, right about here. Boy, that's a straight line and a half. Now let's just split the difference on all of them. Now you want to, you can clean this ink off with some alcohol after you finish making it, but I'm not going to worry about that. Now I need another line, and I'll explain why in a minute. Let's make the other line right there. Now, if you look at this thing, I'm going to make a cut with scissors, not with this. This is too jagged. And I'm going to cut all the way to the bottom line right there, the bottom of the line. When I cut down this one with the scissors, I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going to take and bend that blade out so that it creases right across here giving me approximately 35 degree angle on the blade. I'll cut one and show you. Scissors don't quite cut it neat enough, so I'm going to use my exacto knife to get all the way to the bottom, being careful not to cut myself. Now on this one, I'm going to stop up there.
So you see when I bend it, I'm going to push my finger right there to bend it, to force it to bend it to the bottom of the lines. I'm going to take and crease it with my fingers like that. See, there's my first blade, and it's at a 45 degree angle, uh, 35. Actually, I don't know what the degree is. Now, I have to finish cutting this line to the bottom, just like I did that one over there. Here's one I forgot to mark. Oh, well, maybe I just didn't mark it even. Now we need another line. Alright, you continue this procedure till you get all the way around. I'll come back to you as soon as I get them all bent. Now I got two blades. See that 45? See that angle? Alright, my friends, in part one, we've got that far along. We got them all done. Be them whatever straight as you can get them, they don't have to be perfect, and I'm new at this too, so mine definitely ain't perfect, and we're going to, in step two, we're going to take this bottom and fit it down in there, squeeze it together so that it's straight as we can get it, that snapped in there pretty good, I don't know if I'm perfectly straight or not. That snapped together pretty good and it looks straight. We're going to say it's straight enough. All you want is something to hold it. Now I suppose you could try some glue on this, but I've had no luck with it. Gorilla glue sure won't work. It doesn't stick to this. I think I got an air pocket in there creating pressure. What we're going to do is take my soldering gun and solder this thing plastic together, plastic welded. Now remember I told you you want the holes drilled right in the center. I haven't drilled mine yet but I'll get around to it. That's part one. In part two we'll... I don't know if that still ain't straight. There we go. Or it snap. We're going to say it straight anyway. Now the one that I built for you yesterday, I used alcohol ink and colored the blades. I'll show you a clip of it. It's out on the porch spinning in the wind right now. That concludes part one on how to make a plastic bottle propeller.